Hello, what's up everyone? This is Shasha SJ. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming by today. I am so happy that you are here today. And today, if you are new to my channel, I am Shasha SJ and I love to craft anything that can be recycled. Any craft from Goodwill, Walmart, or anywhere that I can find in my house that I can recycle and I also sell jewelries and it should be on the description down below where you can go to my link and I always have a daily promo which is if you buy three piece under $15 priced item on my website or my Pushmark closet it'll be for three piece it'll be $20 so yes and this is one of my finds that I found in one of my, because I love to collect vintage. And look at this beautiful necklace, guys. Isn't that pretty? This is like wooden beads. Super awesome. And look at these animals in there. This is just too cute. And that beautiful? I love to go and get some vintage items guys so yes I do I do and this is one of my finds isn't it cute I really 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 like it and if you want it go check them out at the description down below and if you cannot find it that means it is sold because I cross posted all of my items okay so thank you guys again for watching Shasha SJ and let's get started to our project <laughs> All right, so today, since we are going to recycle anything, I have this leftover, you know, this is from the Dollar Tree. It's a scarf, so it's going to be a gnome. We're going to make a gnome, which is a boy and a girl. And it's Valentine's, so I'm using this Hardy Hearts, wooden hearts. I get this from Dollar Tree. And of course, I don't like to throw anything stuff. This is like a hair band which is stretchy i used already some of these pieces for the hair so we are going to use some of these a sock <laughs> this is from um i think this is a during christmas time and i don't like to just let it sit and i want to use it and this would be perfect for valentine's because it's red so we'll see which one we are going to use right now and I have this pom-poms I don't have a wooden bead for making a nose for our nose so we're using pom-poms and felt and of course we are going to use a stretchy band you can also get this one from the Dollar Tree rock Fillers. And yes, I forgot to mention, we are going to need this mop. <laughs> I have this one long, long time ago. I think this is part of my video. I think that was um, Christmas Gnome. And I have a leftover and I don't want to throw them away. So I kept it until now and it's already February from December. And I want to use it. All right, so let's use this item, the mop. I got this one from the Dollar Tree. So here we go, let's get started. First, we are going to need our sock. All right, so you know guys, we are going to make a gnome that you don't sew it. So this is a no sew no. So let's get into this, okay? All right, so first I'm going to grab my red sock and the black sock, and I'm going to grab this rock. And I'm just going to put this inside this sock. we reached the point of the right size next we are going to grab our fillers all 
All right, so since we reached the point, the size of our gnome that we want, we are going to tie this up with our rubber band. All right, so it is done. I am going to cut this end down here. And for sure, I want to secure it with a glue gun just to make sure in case if the rubber band going to give up, the glue gun is holding it in place just to make them close. All right, so it is done. Look at that, super cute. They're like glittery. Isn't it cute? I really, really, really like it. Okay, so next is I am going to put this thing aside and we are going to build our gnome's hat, okay? And I'm just going to fold this corner just like so like that and I will cut this down I promise guys this project is not planned this is so me I never plan anything so I just have to do it like this again because I'm trying to hide this tag I could remove it if I want to, but I'm not going to right now. And I am just going to glue this area just to close it down. So now we are going to have an awesome gnome's hat. But first, before you are going to play the hat around, make sure that your hat or the glue in there is totally dry, okay? And I'm going to do the same on the black hat, okay? Or scarf. And I'm going to put this one aside while it's drying. So next one, I'm going to grab my pom-poms. I am just using the three pom-poms in here for the size of the nose and I'm going to glue this all together. I don't have a beads or anything that's almost same size but I have no option to use so I'm just going to use this. We are going to go out on our own box so we can find some almost the same and I'm going to put this ball that we created inside this felt and we are just going to do it all together like so and we just created a nose okay just like that and we are going to cut the end of these And we are going to try to close this area down here. Alright, so there is our gnome's nose. Super cute. And you don't have to worry about the back down here because you are going to stuff this one anyways on our gnome's body. Okay? And we are going to finish the other one and make two noses okay all right so next we are going to grab our piece of scarf and what i'm trying to do is i'm going to glue this part i still have this tag hanging down here so with this size of scarf that you get from the dollar tree all you have to do is you just have to fold it like so like that where the good side is going to be 
glued together like that. And first you are going to glue the bottom one. Put the glue at the bottom right here. And just meet them together at that end. I'm going to make the video closer so then you can see what I'm doing. Alright, so next is you are going to make your gnome lay flat because we are going to dress up our gnome, okay? So make sure that it's um, almost close to the head. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to cut a little bit extra just in case it doesn't fit, okay? Just to make sure. It's better safe than sorry <laughs> if you know what I mean. So, Alright, and then you glue this end this side again just close it down my glue gun guys is very well loved I use this all the time I really like this because it's low temp so it's almost like they're hot but it's just much better it's not drippy and you just have to put this in the corner just to make sure it's dry before you open it. And next is I'm going to cut a piece, just a little piece, like that. Just one piece and you will know why I do that, okay? And hopefully this one is dry, let's see. Yep, and it is dry. Go. there is our gnome outfit all right so as you can see it is dry and it's ready and you don't have to worry about the phrase down here so what you can do now is you tuck in your gnome inside doesn't matter where you want it and once it is in see that's the good thing that you put extras on it as you can see and what you do is you tuck this in just to form the sock. You just have to tuck it in. And you push your gnome's body in there on how you want it. And what I like is I will tuck this inside like that on our gnome. Okay. And just tuck it in. That. and you are going to try that they are evenly even you can even go even more lower if you want to and that's what I'm trying to do right now and you can glue it if you want to right now but for me I'm not going to right now because ooh, what in the heck was that okay so for now, I am just going to let it be because I'm going to, this is the thing down here. What I'm trying to do is I'm going to put this one down and it looks like a bib, okay? Just like that. And just tuck it in like so. And tuck it in on the other side like that. Okay, it may not like nothing in the back because it'll be covered by the hat anyways. Okay, so I'm going to do it like this and then I will start gluing. Now what we can do, since it's in there, we are going to put our gnome's nose like that and it's so cute. Alright, so we just have to put them in there. Oop. Right. and then we are going to grab our mop and I'm going to start cutting this one by one that's all you have to do you have to do this one by one all right they're all gone and 
then what I like to do is I like to cut them in half like this alright so I think that's done and what I like to do about this is I like to glue this one by one in this piece down here because if you do it all together in one piece you won't be able to separate this pieces of fiber of this mop so I will show you how to do this one so first you are going to grab the gnome and you are going to tuck in this mop down in that nose or you can start in the middle and go up to the top like so okay so that's what I'm going to do right now. You have to do this one by one, okay? So I'm going to make this video go faster. All right, so since it is done gluing all, all of those pieces of mop heads, all you have to do is if you want it to have more of a beard you can flip them up like that like what I'm doing right now and you can add some more at the bottom down here like so okay and that's what I'm going to do right now and again I'm going to make this video go faster They are all done there you go they are all glued all together you can leave it like so like these but for me I like to undo this because I just like the feel of more fluffy beard the reason why I glue it one by one so when you are trying to undo this mop heads or this we call it now as a beard it's not pulling out of the gnome's body so that's one of the reason I glue them one by one okay and I'm going to make this video goes faster again look at that guys look how fluffy that is that cute and all you can do is you can trim that if you want to and then you can put your gnome's hat in here and that's what I, we are going to do right now just going to put the hat and what I like about this is I like to fold the triangle up like that so it's like a double hat on our gnome so I'm just going to do it like so like that and I am just going to glue this over to our gnome's nose there you go and we can put some buttons down here or I'm just going to use this blue flower You can use a button or somehow, but right now this is all I have. So that's what I'm gonna use down here as a button. There you go, super cute gnome. And our gnome is wearing a bib, super cute. And they have a button down there. You can use a button if you want to. And yes, there is our beautiful gnome. All right, we are going to finish the girly one. 
and all right so with our girly gnome what we are going to do is we are going to grab three of our mop head ones these three pieces of it and we are going to tape this end all right and then once you got it you are just going to start braiding it All right, so once you're done, you are going to grab a twine or a thread of your choice. So this time I'm going to use my twine. I grabbed this one also from the Dollar Tree. They have a twine over there. All right, so once it is done, you are going to put your flower down here on their bib because it's kind of like they're wearing a bib. So I'm just going to glue this down. And then you are going to grab your hat. So what I do is, as you can see the angle in this back, is not even but that's an art all you have to do is just flip it up like that like so so they have an angle of an art okay so just tuck them in like so and you are going to pull this thing down a little bit and you are going to grab your gnome's nose like so so it should be tucked in like that is our girly gnome with their bib on super cute there you go all right guys so the last one is i'm just going to add this heart wood chips that i got from the dollar tree and i'm just going to glue that on the top and as you can see my glue stick is keep jumping off <laughs> so i'm just gonna put them like so like that and the other one is going to be on the other side or somehow like that like so and as you can see they have i'm going to show you a closer look they are wearing a bib and as you can see and it's hiding in there and there's another one and we created an awesome gnome like so super pretty I really 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 like it like the outcome is beautiful super pretty and the girly one too is the same way and the bib has a flower in there super cute and we just braided a hair for our little gnome and we put a wooden chip of heart and they have the same outfit it's almost like they were like twin you know brother and sister are twin isn't it cute? Super, super cute. I really like it. And I think that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, guys. And I will show you the closer look. And once again, please don't forget to check also my Pushmark closet. Alright, so if you find three pieces in there for under $15 priced 
$15 below. And if you want those three piece, you could have that for $20. And that is a good deal. You get to pick the choice you like and the design that you like in any of the jewelry that you like, that is a good deal in there. But anyway, if you like any of those, make me an offer and I would love to work it out with you. And yes, in any of the item that you like, even if it's priced over $20 or somehow, just make me an offer and maybe we can work it out, okay? And I'm going to show you the closer look of the DIY that we made today from the Dollar Tree project. Here we go. See you soon. Come back next time. Have a great day. Bye.